Hey there, Mushroom Hunters. Um, I have today the Fall Oyster Mushroom, um, which, as you can see here, is um, a greenish, greenish in color, um, actually very velvety green, um, slight hints of yellow on top. And of course, it is in off, um, the, the stem is missing from this oyster specimen. Um, the gills, as you can see, are, they branch out from the bottom. Um, here's a better look at one of the undersides of these fall oysters. Um, these aren't quite as tasty as the um, other more typical oyster mushrooms that also come out in the fall uh, later on in the season. It's the beginning of November, like November 1st. I think I found these on the October 30th. Um, and these fall oysters can get fairly large um, in shape depending on where you find them. Um, I found all of these on dead deciduous stumps. Um, here's a smaller specimen as you can see here. It was a little bit greener when I first picked it. Um, you can see the the gill structure there. Um, but I actually yeah put these in an Asian soup and also in a um, goulash that I made and they were awesome. So I would say definitely any type of stew would be great for these fall oysters. They're found typically in late fall and they're very common um, they can vary greatly in size, um, but you're going to want to look for them sort of clustering together, um, like this. Oftentimes, uh, you can also find these fall oysters just individually on stumps or on rotting deciduous trees. Um, they are, again, not quite as tasty as the regular oyster mushrooms, but they are still good, and they're one of the later uh, fungi that come out in the fall, very common in the Northeast. So find and enjoy. And also, oh, I should say, you should be careful that your fall oysters aren't the um, velvety um, pox, they're called, P-A-X, because those, those are more of a reddish color, and those are not edible. So again, make sure that you're checking all of your mushrooms with a mushroom hunter's guide. Um, you don't want to risk it. Okay, take care.